Okay, hi there, this is Sean again, and I am going to make this video to hopefully help people with how to upload their video. So if you see right here, I made the video, the screen recording already on the desktop, and now I have to upload it to YouTube. So all I'm gonna do is just open up the window. It's right there, let's expand it. And if you look on the top right right here, all I have to do is just click Upload video. And then if you see right here, it has just drag and drop the file. So I'm going to go right here to the taskbar, click on that, go to desktop, and just drag over my video onto there. And now all it's going to ask me to do is what do I want to make? So I'm just going to call this a sample video. Video for upload. And after that, all I have to do, if I want a description, I can add it right there. I'm not going to, I'm not worried about it. Uh, don't worry about playlists or uh, the thumbnail rather. It'll upload it. Once you actually upload everything, you can pick one of the three pictures there. For it. I'm not going to worry about playlists. An audience here. It's made for kids. It's asking if it's made for like pre K to like third grade tr uh, children. I'm going to say no. Age restriction. I don't have to worry about that. And then I'm going to click here on more options. Paid promotion. Don't have to worry about that. Tags, language, and video. This I uh, leave alone. If you just leave it to be English, it will automatically generate uh, subtitles for you. I don't care about the, de uh, the date or location. Just click on to standard YouTube license. I don't worry about uh, embedding and I don't need to uh, worry about the sus uh, subscriptions. I don't think anyone's going to subscribe to my classroom or to my YouTube channel. So that's not a concern for me. Comments, I disable my comments. And I also uh, disable how many people like and dislike the video. Again, it just saves me off uh, from the off chance that someone comes and watches the video again and wants to have something um, nasty. It just saves me some time later. I go into video elements. Uh, here you can actually add an end screen. I don't worry about it. I'm not going to worry about cards. That's just um, having like extra places to click to. Um, I'm making it really simple. And again, most people aren't going to even watch it, so I don't really concern myself with that. Here though, once you click uh, next, number three, visibil visibility. You can make it private, unlisted, or public. Public means that it can be for everyone. Unlisted though, is that you're able to uh, just copy this link and put it in your classroom and no one has to worry about it. So you don't have to worry about people uh, sharing your content or changing it, it's just anyone who's in your classroom or anyone who's invited that knows that link, they're able to watch it. And the private is only if you and people that you actually invite. Unlisted, I like to keep. Um, public is for like more general, general information, but I like the unlisted factor, especially like a video like this that I don't want to share to students about how to make a video. Again, I'm not Will. So this is just to help people that I want to know the video. After that, I just gotta make sure. Uh, this is to make sure, uh, do kids appear in your video? It's just a FERPA uh, issue. Again, since we're web, uh, casting, it's not gonna be an issue there. Unless you're recording your Google Hangout, make sure that you do not record Google Hangout when you're actually doing an actual like chat with your students. And don't need to worry about that, just hit save. And then all it has to do is just process everything. And this will do it uh, on itself. So just uploading now. So if you see right here on the top, it's actually already just uh, pending. And then you are good to go.